turn now to that GMA parenting alert about a free app a mother says helped save her baby's life by tracking how often she kicked. ABC's Diane Macedo is here with that story. What is this all about? So this mother says that everything was completely normal in her pregnancy until one day, thanks to this app, she noticed that something was off. Well, it turns out her baby was in real trouble. For Emily and Jeremy Ekoff and two-year-old Liam, Oh, nice. Life with their new baby, Ruby, is extra precious. We have a healthy baby girl and we could have had um, a burial instead. Ruby is lucky to be alive and her mom says that's largely thanks to an app. The free app called Count the Kicks aims to prevent stillborn deaths by helping moms record their baby's movements. You can just tap the baby's footprint every time you feel a movement. A movement could be a kick, a roll, or a jab. Used at the same time every day, the app tracks how long it takes to reach 10 kicks, helping mom learn what's normal for her baby. And we also send calendar reminders and text reminders so that moms are reminded to do it once a day in the third trimester. It's just one of a growing number of apps helping parents through pregnancy and labor. For the Ecoffs, everything was going smoothly until one day last month. The kicks were not happening as frequently as they usually did. And when she did move, it was really like soft, subtle, not like hard kicks like normal. Emily knew from the app that her baby normally kicked 10 times in under 10 minutes. So when she only logged three kicks in an hour, she rushed to the hospital. All of a sudden they came in and said, you're going to have an emergency C-section. The umbilical cord had wrapped around the baby three times, limiting her movement. Doctors delivered Ruby just in the nick of time. Not only has Ruby been saved, but potential generations have been saved. She sleeps about 23 hours a day. <laughs> Four weeks later, Ruby is now home, healthy, and sleeping like a baby. Doesn't get much cuter than that. Now, the app was made in Iowa, which is where that family is from, but the creators say it's now spreading nationwide thanks in part to Ruby. Since the news of her birth, the app has gained more than 5,000 new subscribers. So, Robin, the app saved Ruby, and by raising awareness, she may end up saving many more. Oh, we love Ruby, that little stretch. So and we all wanted to do what we so saw cute. that. Diane, thank you. Thanks, Diane. Perfect. And uh, Dr. Action is back with us. What, you've delivered something like 1,500 no, babies 1500, like, yeah. like Ruby. How important is it to counsel women when they are pregnant what to expect? I mean, it's, it's a key part of what we do in the third trimester. That's when we start talking to women about knowing what fetal movement things they should be looking for. And that's been done for decades. Mm -hmm. So normally what we tell people is first, you have to learn how your baby, your fetus is moving because every fetus has a different activity level in utero, just like they do when they're on the outside. Basically, we tell them to look for 10 distinct movements over the course of a two hour period at minimum. And those can be sequential hours or interrupted hours. And you know, even though there is little data to support that fetal movement can actually prevent stillbirths, we do know that it's one way we can try to assess fetal well-being and that in a, either in an acute sense or a chronic sense, a fetus that's in trouble will tend to have a different movement pattern. You know, just because you're um, creating more awareness doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a, a good outcome. But in the case of Ruby, so... It's not one size fits all. Exactly, could, and the awareness help. part is actually right. very important. We heard here about the cord being wrapped around mm -hmm. the baby's neck. The reality is, unfortunately, most of stillbirths are unexplained. Mm. And we also know that a lot of babies are born with the cord around their neck. My son was one of them, and they really? actually do fine. The other thing that I think is really important, Robin, is that while we are trying to always increase awareness, we can't risk sending a message that women who have suffered stillbirths did so because they missed something mm. or they're mm. at fault because we know that that is not true. So mm -hmm. again, if awareness goes up, and lives can be saved, that's a good thing. All right, so in honor of Ruby, let's do the Ruby stretch. Everybody's like, oh, the Ruby stretch. Oh. All right, Jen, thank you.